Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a topic that maybe a lot of you that were recently injured might have wondered, and that is, can I ejaculate after my spinal cord injury? Um, this kind of goes along with that other video I did, sex after a spinal cord injury. What I kind of described in that video was that it really depends on the level of your injury and how bad your spinal cord was damaged. Um, some people, you know, might be an incomplete injury, um, meaning they just had slight damage to their spinal cord, and they might still be able to reach ejaculation with regular sex. Um, but for somebody like me, I have a complete injury, and I doesn't matter, you know, how much stimulation I get with regular sex, I can't ejaculate, which has been a huge problem for me personally. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because, you know, I'm trying to have um, a child with my wife, and maybe you will too, so this information might help you out. Um, but what I found is there's a couple different ways you can reach ejaculation. Um, it's going to take a lot of stimulation, um, more so than with regular sex, like I said. Um, there's two main types. Um, the one I thought only existed uh, was vibratory ejaculation, uh, which is like basically using a vibrator to stimulate ejaculation. Um, the other one, which a lot of people might not know about, um, fairly new information to me, um, is uh, electro ejaculation or um, electronic ejaculation. And that is taking an electrical stimulator and basically stimulating the process. Um, that's a little more uh, involved, um, but at the same time, also effective. Um, so what I wanted to start talking about before I even go into anything, um, one very important thing you need to think about is autonomic dysreflexia. If you've been in the hospital, talk to nurses, I'm sure they've told you about that. Um, it's mainly for levels T6 and above, and it's basically a huge spike in blood pressure from overstimulation. Uh, if you've had it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, um, it's something that you never want to experience. I've experienced it. It's horrible. Um, and what it is, basically you get a pounding headache, the worst headache you've ever had in your life. And it's a huge spike in blood pressure. So the reason you're getting that headache is your head is just pulsating with this high blood pressure. You can actually get a stroke from this. Um, so it's definitely something you want to think about before you try any of these methods. Uh, maybe talk to your doctor, see if uh, this is something that uh, you need to be concerned with. Um, there is a medication that I take prior to trying any, any of this th stuff. It's called nifedipine, and it's a 20 milligram capsule. Uh, looks like this. Um, I take this about an hour before trying, and what it does is it's calcium channel blocker. Whatever that means, to me, all it means is it keeps AD from coming, uh, keeps that headache away, keeps that huge spike in blood pressure away, and keeps me from getting a stroke. Um, so yeah, you might wanna check that out. Nifedipine, like I said, 20 milligrams an hour before. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the uh, vibratory ejaculation. Um, here we go. Okay, so as you start this process, you're probably thinking the same thing I was, and that is, what is the cheapest way I can try to, to reach ejaculation? I don't wanna to spend too much money if I don't have to. Um, this was where I started. Um, this is a wall vibrator. Um, it's just a regular body massager, and um, found out about this from a spinal cord injury forum um, called Care Cure, um, but this is a two-speed vibrator um, and you basically rub it kind of around the head. And for some people, uh, you can reach ejaculation with this. Me personally, I could not. Um, I tried and tried. I would get a lot of stimulation. Uh, my body would feel like it might be getting somewhere, but nothing ever happened with it. Uh, this is, I want to say about $35, $40. So fairly cheap. I mean, if you're going to give this a shot, might as well start cheap, right? Um, so that's where I started. Um, from there, that did not work. So I moved up to the Furticare, which a lot of people might have heard about this. Uh, this is actually made for people with spinal cord injuries. And the great thing about this um, for a lot of people is that it's adjustable. So the speed, you can adjust the speed of it so you can really figure out 
what's going to make your body work. Um, the other change is amplitude, which basically is the difference of how fast this moves or how far this moves up and down, whether just a little bit or a lot. Um, that can change um, if it's going to work or not for you. So the way you use this thing is you put this little pad kind of underneath the head of the penis or some people it works better on the sides. I was told that the bottom is where it works best and you just press, you know, put enough pressure so that it sounds like it's kind of bogging down a little bit. There's actually a small little light on the side that will light up red when you've reached the right amount of pressure um, while well, you're supposed to back off a little bit um, once that lights up red. But after a while, um, you might be able to reach ejaculation with this. For me personally, I could not, and I think the biggest reason was the battery life of this. Bought this used, it was clean, <laughs> but it was still used, and I think the battery life just kind of died. Um, this is not, the battery inside this thing is not replaceable. I've seen some people be able to cut this open, um, which I thought about doing, um, but I had never done it. You could also cut this open and hardwire it to uh, a power source if you wanted to, but that's something that a lot of people don't know how to do, and if you don't know how to do it, you're pretty much out of luck. So um, that's that. The last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was the electro ejaculation, um, and we'll move on to that. Okay, so the last method I called um, electro ejaculation, that's not entirely correct. Electro ejaculation is actually a medical process where they stick a probe up your butt. They do this for um, a lot of animals to try to get them to ejaculate, but they send an electrical charge to, I think, around the prostate and it um, stimulates ejaculation. This is not that. This is more um, electrical stimulation. Uh, it's also called e-stim. And it's kind of a new process um, where people use a TENS unit or an EMS unit, which is an electronic muscle stimulator, along with these pads. I'm sure you've seen how that works before. But it stimulates the muscle, um, but in this case, it stimulates the penis, and it, uh, you can reach ejaculation. Um, there's a couple ways you can stick these sticky pads on. Um, a lot of the times, I will use two at the tip on each side and two at the base. The ones at the tip get the positive leads, which look like this, red. The ones at the base would get um, a negative. And there's actually two sets of these. Um, but yeah, you would put two at the tip, two at the base, and you would use this little stimulator machine. And you can adjust the frequency in here. Um, and you can also adjust the power on top. So as you crank these up, it's sending more and more electricity to your penis, uh, which sounds pretty painful. Luckily for me, I'm a complete injury. I can't feel it. Um, but it's effective, not pleasurable. Uh, this does not feel good. Unfortunately, I can no longer enjoy an ejaculation, <laughs> um, but it gets it out. And that's the biggest thing for me, trying to start a family. Um, we are going to try to use the uh, basically the, the home insemination process. Um, that's what we're working on. Aside from the sticky pads, you can also use these conductive loops. Uh, they're just regular rubber, but they're uh, conductive. And same deal, I'll put the red at the positive right at the tip of the penis. The black goes at the base, and you can actually adjust these uh, tighter and looser. And then I will start using this machine. Um, you set the, I think it's the pulse width. For me, I use a 300 and the frequency is 100. I will start with these little things um, at two and then over a course of a couple minutes, I will slowly crank them up and uh, I will end up at about five. And usually after a minute or so, uh, gotta get the cup ready because uh, here she comes. No pun intended, uh, but that is what works for me personally. So yeah. Electro uh, stimulation, only thing that's worked for me, doesn't mean the other two methods wouldn't work for you. Um, so they might be worth a shot. Uh, one thing to note is that you don't have to actually have an erection for any of these to work. Um, it may work a little bit better if you got a little more of a chub, but uh, at the same time, 
you don't have to. So um, give them a shot. Like I said, be careful of the AD. Not a good thing. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot.